In this video, I am going to talk about the new feature of Figma Auto Layout. The Auto Layout allows you to create some dynamic frames that respond to their content. And where you can use this Auto Layout, you create buttons that grows or shrink as you edit the text level. You can quickly build lists that adopt to the new items. You can combine auto layout frames to build a complex layout. You can add auto layout to your existing component as well. So that means you have the flexibility and power to apply auto layout to any frames. Remember it, any frames, whether it's a component or not. I'm going to show you that how can you access auto layout and what are the properties involved and I'll give you some tips to use auto layout in creative ways. Now let's jump into the action and see how auto layout works. I'm inside Figma and I'm going to show you that what how exactly auto layout works and what are the properties you have, how can you create it, how can you remove one. This is my you know, uh, simple button where I have a text, I have a background and right now nothing applies here. So it is just simple. Now let me apply that. So you can apply this by selecting both the layers, right click and now there is a new option called add auto layout. Click on that, done. Your frame is now ready with auto layout. So what happened after click? after converting it to auto layout. If I select this frame, I can see in the left side, my layer icon got changed. It's now no longer a frame layer icon or no longer a, uh, you know, like default uh, icon of the players. It now there are two, two parallel, uh, you know, rectangle kind of a icon. And in the right side, you can see one property activated it's called auto layout and what are the things are there inside auto layout now you can lay out this horizontally and you have the property of uh, you know giving them option to auto height and you can fix the height also at the same time you can control the horizontal padding you can control the vertical padding and also you can control space between the item so what is basically space between the item i'll tell you after some time but let's see what is basically this horizontal padding. You see there is a text I am a button in the left and right side you have spacing. Now you want that my spacing will be 32 pixel. So just write 32 done. Now at the top and bottom the same thing right now 26 pixel. You want maybe 16 pixel. Just write it done. This is how the buttons are automatically taking the size and keeping the padding in mind. Now the fun part is not there. Fun part is, let me change the text of this button from I am a button to OK. As you see, the moment I type and change the text from I am a button to OK, this automatically, you know, change the width of that button and now it is taking the padding size and the text size and automatically you know, uh, keeping uh, the width of both the left and right padding and the text size of it. Now the another fun part. Now let me duplicate this and put it here. In between, I'll keep it like 20 pixel. Now I can select both this layer, which are basically converted already into auto layout. And I can again convert them as an auto layout. Why I'll, be, why I'll be doing that? Because sometimes you have two buttons, three buttons like OK, Cancel or maybe one primary button, one secondary button. Let's say this one is your secondary button which is uh, got a stroke and uh, the text color I'll change to this and the background color I'll give this one. Now I change the text to submit 
and you can see automatically it's increasing this is this is fantastic actually and now if i select both this and again create you know again apply auto layout so i can do this by right clicking or maybe shortcut shift a and now you can see there is a message called auto layout added and the advantage is now if i want to change this from left to right side just move around and you can see it's it's automatically shifting the position and keeping the existing you know gap between these two element uh, same and i can i can actually duplicate this another and it will automatically you know if i if i duplicate it you can see it's it's automatically increasing the width of that particular component and i can move around with them from left to right and now if you see in the right side the auto layout has got horizontal uh, you know position i can change that to vertical and the moment i change it comes automatically here again i can resize from here and i can actually i am done so i am done and as you can see this is adopting the layout or adopting the size of this uh, text but right now they all are in center align so how can i align them left or right so you select this entire auto layout you know frame and then select one one property or maybe you can shift and select all the frames inside that auto layout in the right side you have now the control to align them with a the left or center or right so let let's say it's it's left side and again you can change the position and it will you know move around accordingly the another fun part is right now as you have seen that i gave a padding of 20 pixel means the gap between the elements and this came as a vertical spacing right so i can actually control that also if i want 10 pixel i can control that from here and i have you know a lot of opportunities to move around from here to there and i can rearrange but the core component will always be same uh, it will not change. That means the, the padding I gave, the gap I gave, all will be same. Now I'll show you some complex thing. Again, I have already created that. But if you look at here, I have you know five, six icons. Now I can actually delete any of the icon and the entire nav bar will automatically you know take the size of the whole components. And I can again duplicate it and rearrange it i can make it from left to right side i can move it around from this place to another place and it will automatically add out and not only that you can actually create some complex thing this is a frame and if i want to create so this frame is already uh, you know this is a frame and i have already designed that as a pop-up now i can apply that as auto layout and i can actually move these buttons from bottom to top and top to bottom and i can do whatever i want so to do that again i select the whole frame i press shift a now it become a uh, you know auto layout component and the fun part is i can just move around it and it will move from left to right and in that way you can you can create multiple components and cre create them again uh, you know auto layout and then you can move them around from left to right or right to left or whatever you want this is now in horizontal space you can move it to vertical and then whatever you want to do you can do that all as per your design requirement another fun part as i mentioned that you can you can use auto layout in a creative way this is a small character and uh, this character is built with different uh, shape layer and this character has some kind of uh, you know like like uh, like this uh, your uh, frame ready but i i have applied some of the constraints to make this happen this is a little bit of complex thing but how it works exactly this is one frame this is one frame this is another frame this is another frame and the hand is another frame so inside the frame i put some constraints on that layer it is a scale it is, it is scaling it is you know top to bottom are you know fixing that 
place it will always you know, stick with top and bottom and left and right it is always scale i can i can i can i can uh, you know uh, scale it from top and bottom but all together i applied as a uh, you know auto layout and now look what is happening if i want to increase the body part of the of this uh, character see it's it's automatically taking all the space and this is this is actually fun you know i can increase the leg and i can again decrease the leg i can make it a little smaller i can make something like this and i can create one more maybe something like this and i can maybe create something like this let me make the leg a little bigger yeah and you can see in, through this auto layout you have enormous power to create and you know implement something inside your design so this is how i explore the auto layout till now and i feel that this will help us a lot of way to increase our workflow if you think that this video is useful please subscribe like or share this video